Welcome back to Power World. I've been playing far too much of this game. It is amazing. And I hope you all love it too. I've leveled up a little bit less since our last stream. Just been crafting some stuff, gathering some stuff, mainly that. Uh, nothing else has really changed, I don't think. Oh, I've leveled up a few times just because I've just gone and catch, caught a ton of like chickens and uh, lamb balls and stuff. Just, just catching up with uh, the first 10 things you catch of any type of pal give you a bonus. You can see in your pal decks here. So my capture bonus for the uh, lamb balls is complete. Same with Kativa and Chickapee. I can catch nine more lift monks with bonuses, two more fox parks, more fox, etc. And it's really worth it to complete these for each of the capture bonuses because it's a lot of XP, which is how I got 26 so fast. So we are going to do some boss rushing and such. <laughs> Though also, I do have something I want to show y'all if I can make it happen. So I'm going up to Icewind Island, which is which is one of the uh, possible places that uh, you can spawn on the top left hand corner of the map. We're going to do a boss rush, and then I'm going to show you something that I found that is an amazing base location. It is so... I feel like it's calling it gorgeous is just unrealistic. It's so gorgeous. Oh, Dinosum. Awesome. It is just so amazingly beautiful. We're going to go this way to start with. Also, giant deer I love. <laughs> so much larger than the other ones. I, I love having the boss deer from last stream. Ah, how did you hit me? Oh, fuck. Rude. Oh. Well, I'd really hoped not to kill it, but whatever. I still need to catch more deer for the uh, achievement. For the uh, capture bonus. Just changing the stream title because we have other fun stuff we're doing. Didn't get the. Whoop. This is a very powerful deer. I love it. Okay, so our first boss is right here in the middle of this island, Domud. It is a large, wonderful fish. We are going to capture him. There he is! Um. Okay, I need to get off the deer, please. Okay, I need you to throw something at me. Attack, please. Oh, you're not attacking me. Okay. Lift monk, come to me. Come here, Al Capone. Lift monk recoil. This is why I love the squirrel. The squirrel is amazing. No, I didn't want to kill him. Oh, I didn't think I'd do that much damage. Oops. Oops. Well, it leveled up like my entire party. There must be more dire howls I can capture. Yeah. 
Ah. Yeah, I need more dire howls. Hard to juggle so many pals at once fighting me. I am on hard difficulty. I can only take so many things at once. Oh, I'm all the way down here. Why did you put me down here? Oh, we take out the first boss, that's good. So, you can redo boss fights for anyone who is not familiar. And the benefit of that is that you get the uh, ancient civilization parts, which are used to make most valuable gear. So, like, boss... Boss rushing is kind of part of this game. And... I don't totally know how often the bosses respawn. It's somewhere between like once every in-game day and once every hour. Ooh, the pretties. Oh, I missed. And I missed again. Shot. Missed. I got you. Where's the other ones? I can't see anything in this forest. I can't see the forest because of the trees. Rib bunny! Got it? Very easy to get distracted in this game, and I think I'm being distracted. Also, I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of Paldium, because we are going to be making a base temporarily. Not like a, not like a real base yet, though I think I'm gonna want to move to this particular place. But we have an amazing boss, or not boss, we have an amazing uh, base location that I found that is... Probably not known to most people because it's not near a waypoint and it's honestly like really, really well hidden. The only reason why I am confident I can find it again is that I marked down exactly where it was going to be so that I could easily find it again when I need it. Not that. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek because we don't have the area unlocked yet, but that's fine. Trust me, this place is going to be worth the trek. It's... If it's like I remember, it is going to be the prettiest place that I have ever even attempted to make a base. Okay, so... There's a waypoint over there, but there's also should be one over here. Should I try the boss? I'm probably going to get killed in the process of doing that. This Nightwing boss is only level 18, but it's actually really scary if you're trying to capture it. We 
Wait, is this not... No, this isn't the place I thought it was. Okay. There won't be a waypoint over there. We're gonna go this way. Welcome to the desert area. Don't know how many of you have been here. It has Domuds, the giant fish. It has giant tortoises, which are great for mining. And it also has explosive birds. How did I miss with that? No! You, I don't know what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing, whatever you're doing. I try to catch one of these because they're the best thing I've ever found for mining. Their partner ability is like, basically it's like rapid spin from Pokemon. And you can use it to mine very easily and effectively. No! I was trying to shoot his side so he wouldn't take critical damage. Oh, we need a Domed too. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Wow, it did not do much at all. Nope, wrong button. Not my pal. Back here? Okay, now I should be able to catch it. So these actually have level 2 mining to them, despite the fact that they're this weird fish thing. They have mining, level 2, they have transporting level 1, and... I don't think they can water despite being a fish. Because they're not a water type, they're a ground type. Your ground type. Thankfully, Stone Blast is nothing. No, I'm gonna catch you. It's a matter of how many balls you want me to waste first. Oh god, if he hits me again, I actually will die. This is not an ideal spot to die, either. You know what? I'm switching to a Megasphere so I don't die. You are mean. No, do not attack him. I'm trying to catch him. Damn dear. Oh, thank gosh. Yeah, level 27. Okay. So weirdly enough, this desert area doesn't really have many waypoints. So we're going to try to be kind of careful here. Lots of taco tacos. Those things explode, be careful. Those are not things, you don't want to mess with them. They don't look that scary, but you do not want to mess with them. One is more than enough to like insta-kill you. And they're also semi-aggressive too. So that makes the e even worse. Oh, oh my gosh, that's a Joltog Crist. That's one of the alt type Joltogs. Hmm. Let's see what a power bomb does to them. I missed. I missed again. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Hey, look, my great coil. Let's try this.
Finglet cannon! Go! Nope. Go! Nope. Go! There we go. Hey, come here. Flame through our time. I am armed and dangerous and foxy. Yeah, all type. Yeah, got. Oh no. Oh no, of course there's more. I didn't consider that fact that there'd be more. That very obvious fact that there would definitely be more. Okay, I'm glad that didn't end worse for me. Okay, let me just check where I am in relation to the base location that we're going to. And this won't be the longest of streams. Just, just FYI, but we're gonna have some fun. Okay. Okay, so I am here. Okay, so I need to go farther up this way. Might be a challenge because I don't actually have a uh, flying type. Oh, uh, pal yet. So I hope I'll be okay crossing the water. Wait, pal team is starving? Why? I have food. It's not in the slot, that's why. They'll feed themselves now. Is that it right there? I think that's actually it right there. Yep, that's the entrance right there. One second, let me just grab a egg. Come with me. Come on. I love galloping around underwater. Okay. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try to be careful because it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to show you the base just because I don't have a flying pal here because it is very vertical. But it should still be okay. We need two wood, I think. I don't think what do we need for a pal box? Okay, we have enough. Okay, so we are currently right here. Uh, there's a waypoint over here. Uh, the Mount Floppy Summit. This is the entrance to the base location that I want to have. Doesn't look like much yet. It is a hidden grove with a double waterfall. All this area right here. It has its own little pool here underneath of the double waterfall. And it has its very own dungeon that spawns here too. I don't know where the best spot's gonna be too. Place the pal box. 
I'm going to say probably up a little bit. This is a very vertical base, so we're going to have a lot of room to build here. I really wish this was not during the night. <laughs> but this is like, this is actually like a really fucking gorgeous place. I love this place so much. Yeah, I'm gonna put the bow box right here, actually. Uh, Not. Okay, I guess we're putting it down here. So one of the benefits of the PAL box, if you're not aware, is that you can fast travel from it. So I now have a fast travel point here. So ideally, when you make a base, you want it to be far away from any waypoints because it is a new waypoint for you. The blue lines are like the edge of the base, which covers a whole lot of the fucking area around here. I wish I brought an axe with me. That would be... Here, let me make a workbench. Yeah, I just need a few more. A few more pieces of wood. Oh. Right, three, not two. There we go. Stone axe isn't ideal, but whatever. I have nothing. Okay, so what we're gonna do... I'm gonna have my deer log a bit. And my deer log a bit. Come on, you know how to log. Like, one of your main benefits as a creature is that you can log. Hold on. Okay. Y'all start working. They will probably get to logging soon. I assume. I'm gonna try to make a bed so that I can show you more of this place. In the actual daylight, because it's kind of hard to show you right now. make a roof right here, or is it... No, it's overlapping. Darn it. Okay, this might be kind of hard to build in this place if the walls keep getting in the way. Deers, you're not helping. Oh, right, because it's nighttime, so they won't help me anyways. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I need their help. Infrastructure. Oh, I need a wool. Yes. <laughs> Wait, no. I don't need to worry. Because I can just teleport home. I forgot. <laughs> we now have a, a mobile fast travel point. Cool. I just need to grab some wool. Wait, we can just sleep at home, too. I forgot about that. <laughs> Getting all my spoils of Vixie War. Do I have the ability to fly yet? No, I don't. I would need a Nightwing. Nightwing would be the first one that I would get access to. I think. Have I not caught a Nightwing yet? Could that be the problem? You know what? I might need to catch a Nightwing. 
but in the meantime, you'll be able to see the base a lot better now. I don't need that crap. I'm just gonna get a bit of stone, place it on a chest, and then I can actually show you stuff. This is, like, a really, really big, big area. Let's go up here first. Also, this is a level, uh, 15 to 25 zone. So, we'll start to see new cool things here, too. Because everyone's seen the basic zones, but a lot of people still haven't seen, like, the upgraded ones. Top of the first waterfall. Oh, there's an egg up here. It's such a cool place. I hope I can actually build something decent up here. Then there's the actual up upper part. Let's see, do I have enough stamina to get up here? I do if I don't jump off accidentally. Yep. So here's the upper area. Lots of cinemas and bristas. Big waterfall. Looking down into this, like, hidden valley, like, place. Just, like, look at this shot going down. It's, it's such a pretty area. And you can bit, like, with the, uh... If I understand how it works correctly... Yeah, so this is the edge of the base here. So you can build up here. You can build on every level going all the way down. You can just put different things on different places. And, like, pets aren't good with ele uh, cows aren't good with elevation, so you'll have to keep certain things in certain areas. But there's a lot of cool shit that you can do with a place like this. Actually, I probably should have stayed up there so that I could go get the waypoint. More stuff off. I'm not gonna need the spear. There's nothing here that is weak enough to for me to use the spear on. Need the key. The spear is for catching low level, like damaging and catching low level creatures because everything just kills them that I have in my party. Which is, it's actually surprisingly hard to do. Like if you're trying to hit your uh, catch 10 of each thing. Uh, XP bonus. Ooh, I almost ran out. Ooh, that guy was close. So we have Bristas here. Bristolas. They aren't aggressive. And we've sent a moth, which I don't believe are aggressive either. 
We'll have Robin Quills, which kind of look like Gallades from Pokemon. They are dangerous and aggressive. So let's watch out for those. Okay, right over here. Still to get the waypoint, assuming that there's nothing too dangerous between us and the waypoint. There could be. This place is really dangerous. Especially on hard, because, like, with the pals doing triple damage to you, like, it's very easy to get one shot. Okay, send him off. You're neutral, right? Yeah, you're neutral. You just don't want to piss them off, because if you piss them off, they will all murder you. They are... They're neutral, not... Not completely, uh, friendly. I actually have a Lucky Cinemoth in my uh, personal game, and it is a real beast. I actually have a video, a short coming on the channel very soon about that. Are you kidding me? That's a fucking shiny cinema, or not shiny, Lucky Cinemoth. And also a Robin Quill, which is dangerous. How? How? Okay, no, I, I need to catch that. That is obscenely valuable. First thing I need to do is get the waypoint, though. And then probably take out the Robin Quill so it doesn't kill me. But the Robin Quills are incredibly dangerous. I'm going to try to use the flamethrower. I can't dodge, unfortunately, but that should be fine. I can just take him out before you can do much damage. Okay. Theoretically, I could have caught him, but no. I'm not trying that. Not while there's a, a lucky pal on, on the line for it. Uh, okay, so somehow... I need to make this work. The other Cinemoths near it are going to attack me as well. So I have to deal with that. If I attack one of them, I attack all of them. It's also level 27, so it's the highest of all of them. Uh, hmm. My Pingalit is back. I can rocket launcher them. That's probably my best bet. Oh! Oh! Okay, I can divide them up. Okay, you go over there. I'm gonna kill its pals while it's not paying attention. No! No, I didn't mean to do that! No, my pinglet cannon! Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna piss it off. I'm gonna hide. Ow! Oh god! What was that?! I thought it was gonna have the same move that I'm used to... ...that, that my, my Lucky Cinemoth had. Which is Dragon Meteor. So it just gets a random one. Okay, that is very... Are you kidding me? Okay, so we just lost a Lucky, and now there's another Lucky right here? <laughs> what? Okay, you... Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna catch one of you. I need to get... <laughs> I need to get my stuff first. I don't want to run into any of these things, because if they they will get hurt, and then they will be mad at me. No. Yeah. I shouldn't be too far away to... 
to despawn that thing. I can't believe I found two luckies in a row. Wait, was that far enough away to despawn that one too? No! I didn't go that far! Man! Oh god, Gilkla. No, go away. You aren't... You aren't good, Gilkla. You are useless. You can't even fr fucking fly properly. Ow. So, remember what I said about this being a dangerous area? Gilklaws are also aggressive. <sighs> okay, it's gonna take me some time to get adjusted to this zone, that's for sure. Yeah, there's more get. There's the Gale Claws over there, and there's a Robin Quill. Oh god! Leave me alone! Not free Pal Alliance dev devouts. These guys suck. I don't want to get hit. I need that. I can avoid it. Got hit that one. That wasn't enough to kill it. Oh no. Take him out, dear. Are you not an aggressive or something? doing? Okay, well, the deer is confused. I'm gonna take revenge. I don't know if this is gonna work since they're flying. It works! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's not done! I can- I can cap it! Assuming the Robin Quill doesn't come and kill me. Not that the Gale Claws are useful for, like, anything, but still. Oh no. That is the Robin Quill signature ability. Come here, huggy fire me. No, I want... Yeah, flamethrower. These guys are actually really good if you can catch one. And they ha he already has a signature move too, which is really powerful. The bone arrow thing was the signature. Yes. Ooh, we can get your floppy too. Please. No. Ow. God, hard mode is rough. Man, I can't believe we found and lost two luckies. That's ridiculous to me.
I want to see if we can catch this lone Cinemoth. Oh, he already has Sacred Fire. No, you can leave him alone. I'm back, Mozilla. There we go. Now we can take out this one. Oh. Yeah, I appreciate you're trying to help Mozilla, but you're not helping. Unfortunately, each Megasphere costs an ingot, but we now have a... Uh, did we catch a tortoise? I can't remember if we caught a dig toys or not. Because if we did, that will help us get a lot of ingots. Still, it's worth it for the extra catch rate. Because every every extra ball you need to throw is another chance that it can just like straight up kill you. On hard. One thing you have to be worried about is that grass cutter thing that it just did has the ability to go through rocks and trees, unlike every other ability. Also, why is sneak and fast travel the same button? Why do? One day I'm not going to die like every four seconds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you, Mozilla. You're really good. Oh. Well. Didn't exactly work. Fine. Let's get you here. And keep wasting balls. <laughs> Wait, what? Capture rate 2% on what? Oh, there's a bristler down there. I somehow managed to hit a bristler. By complete and total accident. How did I manage to hit? this Oh, seed cannon. That seed machine gun. Better. We should also be seeing B guard around here too. Oh yes, there's some bee guard. They are also aggressive. At least we don't have the queen here. He's around here somewhere though, I'm sure. I don't think the workers get too far away from her usually. Oh, I wish I had my pinglet right now. I just blow up everything there. One big ball of glory. Oh, by the way, B-Guards explode. Am I too far away? I think I'm, yeah, I'm too far away. But B-Guards are, like, super dangerous. I 
actually wait. They've gone that one down pretty far. I might actually be able to catch it. If I can stop them from killing it. Ow, why are you attacking me? I've literally not attacked you yet. Gigasphere! Damn it. Gigasphere! I can't believe I caught that. I like they can kill me in one shot if they if they find if they like actually reach me. So I'm trying very hard not to let them reach me. Oh Capone, can you get him? Really appreciate that. Oh my god, there's Moss Andas. For anyone who doesn't know what a Moss Anda is, it's what happens if you cross a panda with a rocket launcher. They have rocket launchers on their hands. They're like really, really awesome and you can ride them. No, that was my only gigasphere. I'll save you. And by save you, I mean catch you. Anything else going on around me? Oh, fuck the Gale Claw. Please take care of that Gale Claw. I can't deal with it and the monkey. I need to also not aggro the Moss Andas, because otherwise I will be in trouble. Great Sphere! I can th the one I picked up, I can use it. Come on. It would be amazing if this caught it. Oh my god! <laughs> Level 28. Also, Skill Furts. Dragon Burst, good. Ice Missile, good. And Plasma Tornado, that's new. These are skill-free troots. Skill-free troots? Holy shit. Skill fruit trees. They're like devil fruits. You can give them to your uh uh to your pals. Think of them as like single use use uh, TMs. I'm very surprised we haven't died yet. Place is like super dangerous. I want to capture one of those Mossandas, but unfortunately, they're ridiculously dangerous, and I don't have the right balls for it. I only have like regular spheres, and that's not gonna be enough to catch a level 26. At least, not easily. Yeah. Hey, you take care of the wild Robin Quill. Are you aiming at me? You look like... Okay. Got interrupted. Arrow and wheat seeds. You missed. Hey, you really need to be not behind a tree to do this. That's gonna be a problem. Nope. They're out of the grenade field. Ooh, that was close. Thankfully, his special skill requires some wind-up. So, unless I give him a chance to do so, he can't shoot. 
Oh, yes, I caught two Robin Quills today. <laughs> oh, that's gonna replace someone, unfortunately, for them. I mean, I shouldn't have Pinglet in my party anyways. That's only for boss killing, really. I'm taking down camps. Uh, not another D Gale Claw. This is definitely a game, a game I could play forever. I've been playing so much of it. Wait. Hold on. Oh, there's a sparkly sound in the song, and I thought I heard a Lucky. Oh well. I'm so paranoid now, because, like, they have their own, like, special sound that they make when they're nearby. And I'm like, is there a Lucky? Because, like, they're actually really rare, despite the fact that it looks like they weren't rare by be seeing two of them in a row, which I've never had happen before. I've only found five luckies across all of the games I've ever played. And I have quite a few hours in this game already. Okay, let's go back to base. Me alone. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't get angry. Okay. Full power gorilla mode is his partner skill. When activated, unleash the primal fury that increases Goriath's attack power. Okay, so. Sounds pretty cool. Hawkeye fighting together allows you to deal more damage to weak points, so critical hits. Okay. I'll take one of you with me. Inglet can rest for a bit. Alcone's not really meant for what we're doing. So I should swap him. Worker B. When the team when in team, Elizabeth's stats increase, so B guard, the ideal is to have four B guards and one Elizabeth. And the Elizabeth is like what you fight with, and the B guard just boosts attack. Okay, what do we have for Cinemoth abilities? No, none of these Cinemoths are good. The only, cin only reason I ever used the Cinemoth that I had is because it has Dragon Meteor, which is fucking amazing. Oh, I could level my Jolthog Crist, actually. Oh, yeah, because you can throw him as a grenade, too, which is really cool. Yeah, I'll swap him with Al Capone. I don't have the stuff to, to use him as gr a grenade right now, but... Do I not have the act for it yet? Ah, uh, Joltog gloves. There they are. Oh, Joltog Crist. Oh, that's a different set of gloves. Oops. I'll be able to get this stuff soon, which is good. Also, for anyone who's wondering what the, the stun baton or the handgun, they both suck. They really suck. The musket, though, is really good. 
Wait, I can I make a do I have a Dinosaur saddle? No, I don't. Can I make a Dinosaur saddle? I can. Let's make some Joltog Crisp gloves quickly. So I can make use of that. And then I'll probably swap in a Dinosaur so I can ride them. Because they are Dinosaur. Nah, I'm trying out Robin Quill. I'll work with him. Okay, so he has a few different skills. Wind cutter's better than power shot. Seed mine. Okay, that's a better skill set. Okay, hit R to quick stack. Quick stack a bunch of shit. This should go. Here. Eat that. Matic away. Money away. Really wish I had more Hal spheres, like the good ones. I can make some more. Here, I can make some more. That's not too bad. Um, Ten King, I need you. Why can't I interact with you? Okay, he's not actually there, I don't think. Come here. Yeah. Help me. What? Where are you going? Oh, he's hungry. That's why. He's off to get food. That's fine. He'll be back in the second one. He's done eating. Yeah, there he is. Much faster. Bunch of my pals are about to level. Both on Crisp leveled. My Rush are leveled. Gear leveled. And my Muzzle leveled. Did anyone get anything? Nope. That's fine. Okay. I should add my stats real quick. Myself some more stamina. Probably repair the could probably repair my health armor fairly cheaply, yeah. I'll repair that. Usually I don't repair my armor. I just leave it broken because it breaks so quickly when you are in hard mode with just the amount of damage that you take from even a single shot. So the durability is just kind of pointless. Keep repairing. Unless it's the really early armor and you have a lot of the stuff to repair it with. Okay, so Joltog Crist. I can use the Cold Bomb ability, which is his skill. Look how happy he is! And boop! Boom. <laughs> Unlike the Pinglet, it doesn't wipe him out to do it. The Pinglet almost dies doing it. Actually, if you level up your Pinglet enough, they will not die when you uh, fire them out. I don't know what level my Pinglet was. 26. It might be because the Pinglet I have in my other game has increased defense, but it prevents it from being incapacitated. 
So you can just keep using them over and over. Like, you need to wait a little bit between attacks. But otherwise. What was that? Oh, fucking... Go away! Here. I have a Robin Quill now. Deal with him. Kind of stupid, but the, the Gale Claws aren't flying mounts. You can use them as a glider, but not as a flying mount. For some reason. They lose the ability to fly when you capture them, apparently. The Nightwings that look just like them... Uh, you can fly with. You can fly with every other bird, as far as I know. Ooh, level 29 dungeon. That's a level above me. <laughs> this will probably be the end of the stream here. Oh no, fuck that. I can use the, uh, the cold bomb. Hold on. <laughs> Wee it's only level 15, so it doesn't do very much. Okay, well, you... Back. You're very good at what you do, Robin Quill, so I'll leave you to blow everyone up. There we go. Wow. Oh god, there's a fell bat here. Okay, you need to come to this side, because you can't attack from me. Actually, I can probably catch it now. Oh, never mind. I'm alive, that's the most important thing. Oh god, <laughs> there's lots of scary things in here. Grintails are actually really scary, because they have this huge leap. And also, their eyes light up. For reference, it is actually better to catch them than let them die, but... I want them to get low enough that I can catch them with using only a few... ...Pal Spheres. Ideally. If they're not low enough, then I kind of need to just risk it sometimes. I need to get a musket, too, because my... My crossbow isn't enough damage anymore. Also, that's a loop moon. Those are really cool. I don't know... I don't remember what the type chart is for this game. I have it memorized. It is a bit better than you would expect. Like, it's actually a lot simpler than Pokemon's, which is nice. I don't know what that was. But you did not succeed. Oh no. Don't get closer. Despite how ineffectual it looks, it is actually, like, kind of dangerous. Yeah. I'm just juggling it. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Joltog's getting so many levels, it's 19 now. Every catch gives it at least one level. <laughs> is that a Mysterious? What is that? Oh, it's a Catrus! Those are really, really nice. Plus, 
pick up a fell bat first. I can manage to. And I always miss with stone cannon. Eh. Oh no, not that one, not that one. Those ones seek. That is the least effect least effective dark move that there is. Always makes it really easy to catch things that have it. But it's unfortunate for when you're trying to like give it better stuff. Thankfully you can just swap the move out. You can actually unequip all but one move if you want. So if it has two moves and one of them is, like, really bad, you can just remove it so that it only uses one. Generally, it's better not to do that, but you technically can do it if you need to. After this, we're going to catch that Catrus. This Catrus has a really amazing partner skill. So Catrus's partner skill is that when you're fighting with it, any any neutral type creatures that you kill, their loot has a chance to be multiplied. And that's not just doubled, like it can be more than doubled. It's actually, like, really ridiculous. I've gotten eight times the wool from a single uh, Melpaca before with her. Also, she's, like, one of my favorite pals. The only pal that beats her is the, um... It, the deer used to be my favorite, and it still kind of is to some extent. But, uh... Now it's between Chillit, Catrus, and uh, the deer. Also, I'm going to demonstrate something, probably. Ability, probably. Well, I was going to demonstrate the fact that you can change the dungeon boss by walking out of this room and out of that room to the edge of that room, but if I could catch a boss Mosanda. There's not much else that I could possibly want. Uh, can I even do this? I don't know if I can do this. This is a pretty rough challenge. He does seem stuck, but I don't think he'd be stuck for very long. I. Ow. 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 How did you hit me from down here? I live the Robin Quill to fight him. Because I have, like, no chance on my own. If he. If he hits me, I'm so fucked. No. I'm down here. Usually they can't come down here. Why does this look like he's coming down here? It looked like he was coming down there because he was coming down there. Gosh darn it. And the boss now, that dungeon is now reset. And then we can still go fight it, but uh, it will be a different the layout will be the same, but all the monsters will have respawned, and the boss will have changed. Because the boss changes when... Or the boss spawns when you walk into the room before the boss. And if you leave that, the boss despawns, and then if you walk back in, it spawns again. But it's, it's a different boss every time. Which is one thing you can use to change the boss if you want a different boss.
But in this case, Monsanto is probably the best thing you could ask for. It's like there's a pretty big fight going on over here. You're not seriously going to stop and fight me, are you? You're seriously going to stop and fight me. Okay, you can just leave your mate to die to the three pal people who are absolutely like PETA and therefore dangerous. I mean, I do need more Gale Claws for XP sake. If it hits me again, I'm done. Doesn't matter what it uses. Those are getting pretty high up in the sky, which is not good. Over here. Now I'll throw a ball. I needed to get it closer to the ground. God damn it. I'm failing a lot of 25% chances. Though there is a bug right now where, uh, there, so you can raise your catch rate by turning in lift monk statues that you find in the world, like little green world statues. And it increases your catch rate, or at least it's supposed to. In this version, it decreases your catch rate instead. So I actually have worse catch rate than it shows, unfortunately. Why didn't I, like, go back and heal or something? Like, this is incredibly dangerous doing it this way. I don't need to put myself in this much danger. I'm, like, two shots from death or, like, one critical hit. Where? What? What happened? What? Where? Where's it going? Okay. I don't know why it got yeeted to a different island. Literally, it got yeeted to a different island. It's on this island now. <laughs> okay. I... I don't understand this game. This game is bizarre. And only works, like, some of the time. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it here. This has been a pretty busy, busy uh, stream. We did a lot in PATH and we've already gone over an hour here. So thank you all for watching. For those on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll be putting up shorts that are cut up like in cool parts of this. You wanna go back and rewatch them on the main channel. Uh, and yeah, so thanks for watching. I just realized that I haven't been recording. I've just been streaming. I can still get the VOD off Twitch, but that is kind of a pain. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Anyways, for those on Twitch, thank you so much. For those who are here and has been here, I really appreciate you coming here. It's so awesome that you spend so much time watching me do stupid things. It uh, it definitely makes me really happy. Also, we broke 80 subscribers today on uh, on YouTube. And we're about to break 30 followers on Twitch. So if anyone watching on YouTube wants to help out, you can be the 30th follower. <laughs> and also thank you to uh, both Pyroclasm and Ron who tipped $50 each today. That was really, really generous of you. Thank you so much. Okay. I hope you all have a great night, and I will see you on Thursday at 2.30 EST or 5.30 Eastern Time EST. Night, everyone. <laughs>